one of the things I really enjoyed about it was being able to get connected with other practitioners. In the workplace um, and it bridges that gap between the theory that I've learned at university and putting things into practice. And I think it's, it's kind of opened up that the horizons for, for what we can and cannot do. The, the more you do it, the more confidence you get at it, the more expertise you build up as well. The programme gave me exposure to competencies and skills that I previously had very little experience in. It, it sort of broadened my scope of expertise. Uh, some examples of this include securing investment, project management. Also, the programme incorporates a professionalism block. This taught me ethical and professional standards that are expected as a practitioner. So I would say definitely it's one of those things where your confidence grows, you know, as, as you do more of this. But you could pick bits of it at your own pace over the two year period. You could get as in depth as you wanted to with it. And the mentoring side of it, I think it's really one of the biggest parts of the programme for me. My mentor was there to help me identify workplace activities, uh, to support me through the programme from start to finish. I was able to bounce ideas off him, get immediate feedback on particular cases anyway. It made me more sort of comfortable to be challenged in a way as to why you would do, I would do something a certain way. I think it's also quite important to remember that the programme is of benefit to both the employer and the individual as a practitioner. It seemed to be a, a lot more real world focused rather than academically focused. It's so job Focused. I, I love what I do. Sounds a bit corny, I know, but it's nice to see the CIH going in a, a, a very modern direction. If you want to progress your career in environmental health, then please apply for the programme.